Hello, Aquarius. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm going to do a reading now to cover April the 20th to April the 26th, but timing is fluid. So um, whenever you view this reading will be the right time for you. Um, I've done a pre-meditation and a pre-shuffle, so this is just um, a final shuffle on camera. There we go. So I'll just put these out. Um, and now that I'm putting them out, um, if I could just say that if you resonate with this reading, with this channel, if you could press the like and subscribe button for me, that I'd really appreciate that. I have not long started on YouTube and I'm just trying to um, get going with my channel. Although I have been doing readings for many years, but not on YouTube. So that would be great if you're able to do that. It doesn't cost anything, and it, but it does help to build the channel up. So let's see what what the universe wants to say to all you Aquarians out there. Um, the readings, as you know, they don't resonate with absolutely everybody, but it will resonate with those that um, decide to tune in at this time. And that's the law of attraction. All right, Aquarius, let's see. Um, at the heart of your reading is the solitude. Um, this would be the hermit card in Ordinary Tarot. It's a major arcana. And this is about time to go within searching for answers within, taking time out, um, peaceful meditation, reading, whatever it is you do um, that helps you to be centred and grounded. And and also, you know, about finding your way forward as well, perhaps. Um, clarif clarifying for that is the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Chalices. And this is about a wish fulfilment. So there's something you are searching for, I feel, um, to do with something you are hoping for or, or a wish you're wishing for. But there's something about a wish fulfilment here um, to do with the, the Hermit, the Solitude card. We'll see how it evolves. So the um, challenges to this is um, about having multiple choices. Um, so this is about choosing wisely going forward. This is from the suit of the heart, but it doesn't have to be about uh, matters related to the heart. Um, but it is saying about choosing wisely. This is like the Swiss Army knife, and there's lots of hands pointing in different directions. And there's two spirit birds going forward. And there is a way, there is a way perhaps that you have chosen or you're looking at. Um, so there's, there's lots of choices which can be a bit overwhelming. And this is a bit of a challenge for you at this time. Um, and then we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so this is um, anxiety, overthinking something, got a lot on your mind um, about what choice to make. And these are the challenges for you. And that's why I think you've, you've, um, you, you, your, at your centre is a solitude card. So what's at the root of this? The root of it is, um, again, rest and rejuvenation. This is a suit of the mind. Um, and this is taking time out. And you've had to take time out. This is at the root of it. Um, rest, rejuvenation, meditating. Um, in, in, in nature, I mean, that's what the picture depicts. doesn't have to be. Um, and then the clarifier is the five of swords. So this is almost like a horror victory. So there's been a success of something. Um, there's been a victory of some sort, but it feels hollow. Um, these soldiers are coming away from the battle, but they are wounded. So it, it feel, it's a, a victory, but it feels a little bit like a hollow victory. All right, so this is at the root of things at the moment. Um, what happened in the past, uh, the history leading to this current situation, is this, there was a success. There was a triumphant success. Um, if, if it's the Ace of Swords cutting away the dark clouds and bringing in the light fluffy clouds and the blue skies. So this is the Ace of Swords in Ordinary Tarot. So something happened in the past that was like a new beginning, a new triumphant beginning. 
um, to do with a third party situation. Um, this is a Seven of Swords, but it, within this deck, this is talking about um, a third party situation, whether that's an, a person um, coming in between a love relationship it can be um, a best friend that comes in between people. It can be a hobby, a work, a career. It, but it's something that 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 came in. There's a third party situation to do with um, a couple. But it link. This is clarified to the triumphant success. So something was successful here. Take it out. It resonates with you, please, um, Aquarius. And then. Um, crowning you what, what you're thinking about what's on your mind is victory victory and success so again we have um a, a victory a success card this is what's on your mind at the moment feeling quite successful about something but again the clarifier um is the ten of swords so this is about feeling betrayed feeling really just absolutely walked over if you like rock bottom um, however, the ten, when it gets to the Ten of Swords, that means that this situation is coming to an end, um, Aquarius. Whatever this is, it, it's coming to an end when it's the Ten of Swords. But this is what's on your mind at the moment. So it's quite conflicting energies. And then um, the power in your situation at the moment is hope. You've got this. This is a star card, major arcana, and you're holding this star um, in your hands. So this is about um, having hope, holding on to hope. This is the power you have um, going forward. Um, and with the Ten of Cups, this is a family situation. This is love, um, relationships, contentment, having everything that's meaningful to you. And this is the power that, <gasps> that you've got at the moment. Oh, thanks, Phil. You made me jump. Right. I've just had a cup of tea brought in for me. Um, sorry about that. It made me jump. Um, all right, then. So this is the power that you have at the moment. Um, in your environment around you, um, there's something about being patient. Um, there's something you're waiting for. Uh, things are at a standstill at the moment. So it's called the waiting game. So things are at a standstill at the moment, which is not a surprise considering what's happening with the virus at this time. Um, and then the Three of Swords, which is about heartache, heartbreak, a feeling of sadness and loss. So I'm, I'm sorry about that, Aquarius. And this won't apply to everybody, all Aquarians watching this, but it certainly will apply to some of you. So this is it around you in your environment at the moment. Um, and then your hopes and fears... Well, I'm, I'm guessing this is probably a fear. This is about financial and material changes. And when we lose, when we haven't got to feel we haven't got enough, when if we feel that there's not enough coming in, that the larder is bare. So this is, uh, I would gauge, uh, a fear that's on your mind, not having enough. However, there's justice here. So there's, a feel, there's justice, there's, the scales are going to be balanced um, over time. It just takes time. Um, but the scales will be balanced. Um, so this is in your hopes and fears now. You're hoping for justice in a situation to do with this feeling of lack. And then the outcome at this time, and we know that time is fluid, so things can change day to day according to different perspectives and different decisions made. But at this time, there's a there's something going to happen, the passion being ignited. Now, you may be aware of this or you may not at the moment, but this is about something that's setting your heart on fire. And it could be a passion to do with um, a love relationship or to do with work, career, a hobby, children, whatever it is. Um, there's a passion being ignited now. And um, and this is the magician, and this is about uh, manifesting a new reality, manifesting something new in your life that's creating this passion. All right, that's that's fantastic. So, um, what's coming in for you in the near future? 
Well, again, you're being asked to be patient. The seed, you're setting the seed. You've just got to wait for it to grow. So um, uh, just bear with me, please, um, Aquarius. I've just got to set my timer again because, I say, YouTube is quite strict now on the length of videos. So I'm sorry about that. A few interruptions. So patience. Um this would be um, temperance in the ordinary tarot. Um, you just got to have to wait a little bit for things to happen, for things to grow. And remember what was your outcome? Something you're manifesting, something new that's very that you're very passionate about. So, you know, coming in the near future, be patient. But there are going to be some cross swords. There are going to be some conflicting opinions. Uh, or a difficult decision that you have to make, uh, a choice between two. In, in this card, you've got the two people that are fighting with their swords. Um, and it's almost like it conquers. It's like a, a, a conquers fight, um, trying to which one will break the conquer first. So it's the, the patience, um, having patience about a choice, a difficult decision that's going to have to be made coming in. I'm going to ask for just a little bit of information some advice please um, from the universe from from spirit for Aquarius please um, about this reading because timing is fluid although it's for the 20th to the 26th of April um, that time isn't actually fixed so just bear that in mind Aquarius but let's see what advice we can get from the universe from spirit for you at this time just to round this reading up okay there we are right so we take a card from the top a card from the bottom here we go right so what we have is volatility the volcano card the first one to come out so what this is saying is that there's something been building up something's been building up um causing um, an explosion so it's either happened already um or it's something's building up as an explosion um I'm gauging that this is perhaps already happened and it, and it just wanted to clarify that when there's a big build up of something that's not that hasn't got no way of escape, then the only way of escape is out through the top. And then and then there's a big explosion, isn't there? So when something's contained for too long, then it can cause this this big eruption. So it just wanted to say that. Um, and then um and then this then after the volatility and the explosion we've got the purification so this is the, the rain coming down washing away um that which is no longer purposeful or meaningful for you or needed or necessary so it's you know when we have a downpour how it clears the air doesn't it and washes away that which is no longer needed it 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 waters everything it feels the air feels fresher and that's what um, the universe wants to pass on to you today. Now, I hope you can resonate with this reading. I do hope so. Um, good luck going forward, Aquarius. Do stop by again. It would be love, lovely if you could stop by again. Um, all good luck going forward. Best wishes. Bye-bye. <laughs>